Welcome to my channel, Enthusiastic Learner. Today, in this video, in the concluding part of Chapter 2, the Indian economy from 1950 to 1990, we are going to discuss about the trade policy followed by India. India followed the trade policy in the first seven year plans, the trade policy which is commonly known as inward looking policy. Technically, it is called import substitution. The industrial policy which was adopted was called, was closely related to the trade policy. The trade policy aimed at substituting imports with domestic production. For example, instead of importing vehicles from the foreign countries, the Indian producers were encouraged to produce them in India itself. Indian producers were protected and this protection was given by tariffs and quotas. Tariffs are the taxes on imported goods. These taxes make the imported goods very expensive. Quotas specify the amount of goods that can be imported. These tariffs and quotas were based on the notion that the Indian produce, producers needed to be protected against the developed countries' high technology. They also felt that in due course of time, they will be able to compete with the foreign market. The planners also felt that if tariff was not placed on imported goods, then more foreign exchange would be spent on luxury goods. They also felt that to control and diversify the country's industry, the quotas and tariffs were very necessary. Effects of policies on industrial development. The development in the industrial sector in the first seven year plan is quite impressive. The proportion of GDP contributed in the industrial sector increased in the period from 1950 to 1990. The GDP in, of industry in 1950 to 51 was 11.8%, whereas the GDP of industry in 1990-91 increased to 24.6%. The 6% increase in GDP is quite encouraging. No longer was the industry only dependent on iron and steel industry, cotton and jute industry. Rather, it was quite diversified. The protection given to the indigenous producers helped small-scale industry to develop and they were able to invest money and get into business. This protection also helped indigenous industry in the area of electronics and automobile. The public sector played a very important role in the Indian economy 
initially it gave a very sound industrial base to the country some economists are critical of public sector public sector continue to produce goods and services late till late 1990 and they monopolize the market there was lack of competition the services were slow let us understand this by an example let us take the example of telecommunication telecommunication till 1990 the to get the telephone con connection was very difficult it took years to stand in a queue to get a telephone connection even though the services could be very efficiently provided by private sector but public sector kept these services in their hand and they monopolized the market the public sector grew to a great extent and so did the expenses of running the public sector and this led to a lot of losses and it was a burden on the economy of the country the public sector grew to a great extent and it uh, cost a lot of money for the establishment the public sector incurred huge losses but it could not close down as india is a welfare state on the other hand private sector would not run if it is incurring losses now the losses incurred by the public sector is a very huge loss to the country's limited resources a private sector would not do that they would close down if they are incurring losses this was one of the major drawback and the other drawback was the license the big industries were most of the time after getting licenses from the concern ministries and they were also lobbying against the small producers and not letting them enter into the market they were in lobby with the concern ministry and they did not give much thought or effort to uh improve their production economists also feel that the policy of protection had served its purpose in the initial years but to continue it after 1980 was a huge burden on the limited national resources the it also killed the incentive of the producers to produce better quality things as they had monopoly in the market and they were not paying attention to the quality of the goods the consumers had very less choice the public sector incurring huge losses and many other reasons there was economic crisis in 1991 to safeguard the economy a new economic policy was formulated in 1991 the po the policy of liberalization and privatization thank you friends for watching my video if you have liked the video please do like share and comment
Thank you once again. Have a good day.